I'm very adamant against the us involving ourselves in this Ukraine war. Mm. And I've, I, and I, I, you know, the argument always goes back, well, there's people dying and suffering. Suff yeah, that's what war is. It's not about the people in leadership position dying and suffering. It's about the people that shouldn't be getting harmed. Um, I think America's done, we've done a lot to get into this war. We, you know, if you look back, you know, the Ukrainian history was part of Russia. If you look at the eastern part of the Ukrainians, I know some Ukrainians, they identify as being Russian. They don't identify as being Ukrainian. Uh, Putin, as bad as he is, he's been complaining for years, decades, actually, 20 some years, all the NATO countries on his border. And we have failed to actually try to remedy this, remedy this thing. We are jumping on the bandwagon, beating the war drums. You can, any news outlet. Now, when you get politicians on both sides of the aisle agreeing, probably yeah. something scary here. Yeah. Because we, we do not know what we're doing. We, we failed to do any diplomacy. I mean, Adam Schiff in 2020 said at the House floor, he said, when he was speaking about impeaching, you know, then President Donald Trump, he's talking about we're fighting Russia. We, we would have sworn Ukraine to fight Russia over there so we don't fight over here. I'm like, when did we start fighting Russia? I think we need, you know, I think we're asleep at the wheel here. And this can really it, it, um, light off into something extremely dangerous for the world. And we, we're, we're so accustomed to everything being over there. But Russia's not a normal country. They have more weapons than we do, right? We do not know what, how they're going to escalate it. And then, you know, just all the principles of warfare, you know, the seat is the number one. So I have a hard time believing what comes out on the information that the, that the White House has given and that people overseas have given, because I've been there and seen, watched in wars, actively fighting the war and watched what our news people report and mm. how it's perpetuated. Yeah. I mean, especially in Iraq when we the in, uh, in uh, the insurgency was kicking up and things start, things started to happen. I would see reporters basically, sta it's literally staging uh, things to report on to escalate it. Where we were on the ground going, no, that's just not true. I'm here with you. Because I know that everybody used to go out with the reporters and kind of hide in plain sight to find uh, bad guys. But I was watching what they do. So I distrust it. Yeah. I think it, we're, we need to just really look at diplomacy. Mm-hmm. Keep you know Russia. There's no reason we should be fr uh, enemies with them. There's the, yeah they have different belief system. They're very conservative in their belief system. I get it. Um, but I just think we need to pull them closer. I just that's to that. So I know it's not a very popular thing to say, but currently I think that's one of the biggest crises we have. It right? is that it can turn very lethal. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's it's a situation where if the worst happens, everyone loses. Every there is no winner. There yeah. is nothing <laughs> left one and, you know, they call it well because they're talking like tactical nukes they use that word tactical nukes as if it's like some surgical damn thing that's going to happen right. that means the entire city goes away and god only knows what the fallout of that and what's the retaliation and where does it stop it's like dude there is no sense um no. maybe if they all smoked the damn toad they would stop the <laughs> 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 I, know, right? I know it's, we all, it's funny because all this you know it was five of us at that mexico thing and Pretty much everybody was unraveled when we finished that weekend. We're like, holy yeah. shit. Um, yeah, we, we joked about that. So, man, you let world leaders go to a retreat and do a little bit of this action and then have a summit and be like, okay, we'll figure this out, yeah. man. Yeah. There's no need in doing what we're doing over here. Uh, right. Yeah, that's that's the more beautiful world that I want to live in. <laughs> and I think, you know, coming full circle on this entire conversation, and, and I just so appreciate you highlighting these things that are important because they're, we're, if we don't actually talk to individuals like you who have the experience and the knowledge and, and the uh, bravery to be able to just communicate counter narrative ideas, we're going to be funneled into the kind of mainstream, yeah. whether it be news yeah. or just social, you know, it ends up being more of like a social movement, even though these things are of utmost severity pertaining to war and, and human lives. And so having these tough conversations and, and putting forth these, these concepts is so vitally important. And it comes back to what we've been talking about this through this entire conversation, which is start inside, start making a change in yourself and in the people that you can, can touch and impact in your life. And if we can heal humans, we can heal society inside before we look at trying to solve our problem ex problems externally. Sure. We will make progress. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed that, check out right over here for some more fun clips. Oh, and you're going to want to subscribe. Bye.